see these are the grid lines here xc xd xe xf those are your grid lines underneath the first floor the slab these columns are where the piles are if you guys know what the piles are they are like you know drilled down to the ground you drill they, they drill in the ground they pour concrete and they put steel right they and they they keep the building like in place and they'll drill down like you know three to 12 meters and per high rises they'll, they'll go even bigger i would say three to 12 meters is on average pile size and every every column you see here intersects at a grid line and those are where the the piles are underground so if you can imagine okay the uh, the pile starts and then we have uh, what's called a pile cap and in that pile cap is where you put the base uh, you set the uh, the rod in for the columns to be fastened to. So that load is is all the way underground, and that's why columns are you follow they follow all the way up, right? Usually, we can go center to column to find our grid lines is what I'm saying, okay? So you can always get a measurement off a grid line or, or snap a grid line just by going center to column, center to center. You can see here, so P3, say I, I picked blue for P3, I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight P3, and I'm gonna highlight all the different styles of walls because this is a P2, okay? P2 is double layer, five eighths, both sides. This here is a four hour wall. This is uh, um, actually a concrete masonry unit here. Oh, no, up here is concrete masonry unit. So it changes. Um, you can see these dashed lines here uh, represent the fire rating. See these, like it's like Morse code, line, dash, dash, line, dash, dash. Th those, de de those represent your fire rating. So you see this line, dash, dash, line, dash, dash, line, dash, dash, line, dash, 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 two hours. For one hour, which it would be like this, P1 here, I think is a one hour. It's uh, it's different. It's got, um, darn it, it's really, it's but it's still different. You see how it's like a solid black and then two, um, two white, like it's got one dot, right? So line, dot, line, dot, line, dot. Sorry, it's just different. It's weird because this just looks like that's for your one hour wall. And then see on your, in your uh, four hour, okay? Long line and then a big space, long line, space. Over here, here's another two hour, okay? Line, dot, dot. Okay, that represents your two hour wall. Just double layer five eighths type X both sides. You can tell just by looking at the, the lines that that wall there has double layer five eighths both sides. Any wall here that is not fire rated doesn't have the lines, right? So that you're good to go here. Anything that has fire rating lines, you know goes to underside a structure. It always goes from floor to floor, underside a structure. That fire rating is a, is a tell is a tell cell or tell sign. See this here, six, 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 six or whatever. That's referring to uh, this side right here. Six, new steel column. This also doesn't tell you, all right, you got to go over here to the partition type, which is which is crazy because it's usually and not here. So column one hour assembly two out two layers of five eighths type X. So this has to the all the columns we did there had to be double wrapped. And it tells you here horizontal resilient channel spaced vertically. It's, see, I I didn't even do that um, because it, that's just not. That's not how you do it, right? And um, if I was to do that, the columns would have been massive. Like they would have been massive just the way it was laid out. So they were already big. Uh, and I went as tight as possible to the steel as I could. And they were and they were still big uh, down there because they doubled them up. It was just a weird system. There's no reason you would need that uh, horizontal channel there. So these aren't like all set in stone. You can definitely use your expertise as, as the framer, as, as the, um, the guy building it, that, that that's just re that's just not going to work. And, and I've never seen a column built like that either. So uh, just a bunch of weirdos. Um, anyways, so yeah, and then look, some, some walls, like for example, there was one, I think it was the uh, P1A. It's got two layers just on the one side and none on the other. And there's a reason for that, which I'll show you in a second. My point to, to sh showing you that, that progression of the, uh, the column was to tell you that there's multiple places of information that you gotta you gotta go through to make sure that it's not giving you any details because not all the information for the columns isn't just in one spot, right? All the information for the P2 wall isn't in the in the one spot. It's 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 funny that way. Uh, so you you need to go through all of the the specifications and the details, especially the details on the drawings. This uh, this here the window type is, is it see pressed steel frame. So that that means uh, the framer the steel stud framer has to install that right. Resilient channel. 
is um, is not for insulate. Well, yeah, you're right. It is for sound insulation. I just I um, it, it is a it is a sound dampening um, uh, component. This is where you see these bubbles here. This right here, number two, is meaning detail two on this page A one o three. So there, you're gonna get you're gonna get more information on on A one o three. Okay, about this area, and I wouldn't do my layouts from from this this one right i would go to the detail on 103 to get my uh stuff for layout and uh over here this elevator area there's a detail on 104 and i, I bet you there was a detail on the uh second floor yeah on eight, uh sorry there'll be a, there'll be another blow up for the uh the new wall on the second floor as well there uh, so yeah there's also too like man um, that's the thing like i always read the all of the specifications and and the details and the and i know like i pick out all the proper information i always get more information the first time i look at a set of drawings than than the estimators that estimate our jobs do like um it's crazy our, our poor project manager like uh i i just you know like they're always missing stuff like they they just are always missing stuff and i don't understand it like when you win a when you win a bid that was that's the most terrifying thing because you want to make sure like well what did i miss like i must have missed something because the price if the price is good and we were picked like it's always like nerve-wracking to to go through everything and make sure you didn't actually miss anything or if you did it wasn't too crazy or whatever you know um but that, every time i went and contracted my for the first thought i was okay hopefully i well, hopefully i didn't miss anything you know what i mean because yeah that's no good if we just uh, draw a out here this is uh gonna give us a uh, uh, some more details. So a one o. So on one o three, uh, detail two. Remember was going to give us um, more information. Okay, on the plans. So here we go. Detail number two, right here on one o three, is our enlarged stair plans on the second floor. This is where we're going to get our layout from. And if you look to this drawing, this right here is your your main floor right here. And if you see how it draws the line all the way around the stairs here, if you're not looking properly. Okay, you're not going to realize that if when you look at this detail over here that the wall stops halfway up the stairs and then there's a soffit if you look at this just this drawing over here it just looks like it's a wall just framed all the way around right but in actuality it's uh it's framed all the way up from wait a minute no uh, one of these sides anyways but it stops yeah, so it's framed up all the way floor to ceiling from here to here, and then it's a soffit right there. And it looks like there's a detail for the soffit. Uh, detail six on 103, which is this page. So let's go look at uh, yeah, detail six right there. And it's just showing us double layer with, with framing. So the, the it's not showing us how to frame it. It's just um, it's fr with framing double layer, okay? Two layers, five eighths, type X. Oh yeah, and it says on one by three wood strapping, which no, you don't use, we didn't use wood, obviously. We use steel stud, stair tread, two by 12 stringers. Yeah, so it, it, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Don't don't be afraid. There's there's there is stuff that you can do. Like if you're the framer, you're the professional. Right? These guys don't know how to frame. These guys who are making these drawings never framed, and they don't they don't completely understand it. So you got to um, interpret it as as it is sometimes. Okay.